Hello, it's Holly with Ivy Cool Creations, and today we are working on a redefined creative etch a sketch. Today is sketch day 14, and I have turned this one into a pocket page. Now, on the back of this pocket page, I've already done day nine, um, day nine's sketch, so that's why you see the photos and stuff. Um, so I did the, I did day nine and then I did day 14 and the way that I did it was I took the completed parts of day nine and I um, adhered them to the back of this paper that I wanted to be the main sheet for day 14. And so I eventually get these all taped down and then I decide I'm going to try to cut them apart. And instead of cutting them apart, I decided, no, it's better to work on day 14 first, um, get the pieces all glued on and taped down and then cut everything apart so that I so that it all stays in place and I don't have pieces um, getting changed up. So that's what I decided to do here. Now sometimes you can do them separately, like do one then do the other with all the pieces cut apart. Um, because this sketch called for long strips going across from the top to the bottom, um, I wanted to make sure that I could get them all in the same diagonal um, together and not have it, it was a lot easier just to do the page all at once instead of trying to piece it together. So here I have a multitude of pattern papers. These are all scraps that I had in my scrap bin and I am distressing the edges um, for the square piece that kind of looks like stucco. I just ripped the pages, um, but the, for the rest of them, what I did was I used the um, distress tool and just roughed up uh, the edges. And I only roughed up the edges that would be sticking out. So one side is going to be flat, um, and then the other side will be roughed up and lifted so that um, when when you look at it, it looks distressed, but it doesn't add all that extra bulk to the inside of the um, pocket. Now I love this paper. It's gorgeous. It's called the Autumn Blitz Collection, I think, and it's from Recollections. So it's just a Michaels hot by paper pad. Um, but I love the watercolor type of ideas. Anyway, I've cut my photos down and I made sure to trim them so that I could get a white mat behind them. Um, these are pictures of my kids first time ever at the pumpkin patch. So that's why they're fall colors and stuff like that. And they, they had, um, their yellow rain jackets on. So I really love the way that these photos turned out. It's just so cute. And that was a little head just pointing out that that was um, him in the picture. So yeah, he, he loves, Mama, look, it's me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I found this ephemera that says it's pumpkin time. Hello, October and um, various pumpkins. So what I did was I just cut the white off around it because the white edges made it super thick and a lot bigger than it would fit on the, a lot bigger than what would fit on the pocket. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding a couple little pumpkin stickers. And of course, the minute you stick stickers onto a photo, they are stuck there. So make sure you decide what you want to do before you actually do it um, because stickers don't come off at least not without destroying your photos um, so yeah that's why I have a couple pumpkins here and a couple pumpkins there 
and it was just a really cute fun way to make this pocket page feel more autumnal <laughs> um, I finally put the title on and I put it over top of the pumpkin I didn't want the jack-o-lantern so I just covered up the mouth and the face with the little banners um, for the title and you'll see that in the close-ups but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like, please comment. I do try to chat with everyone and check in. So I'm always here. Like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you.